The first rotation has concluded in the Maravich Center as we open the 2019 college gymnastics season. Here are the LSU Tigers' vault scores. Ruby Harold came up short on a landing. Her score has been discarded. Sarah Edwards also was short on her landing, but the Tigers had to count that, a 9.35. The best vault of the night came from Lexi Priestman, 9.9 for LSU. So the Tigers have some catching up to do after one event as we look at the bar scores for the Cal Bears. And they ranged from a high of 9.875 to a low of 9.7. 5-0, a very solid performance for the Cal Bears who have the lead after one event. We'll take a break and be right back with more from the Maravich Center. The eighth-ranked Cal Bears taking on the fourth-ranked LSU Tigers in the opening gymnastics meet of the season. Welcome back, everyone. After one rotation, LSU faltering with a couple of bad landings and Cal on the bars with a 49.125. LSU on vault at 48.825. Not the start that uh, the LSU coaching staff wanted, but there's time to make up the ground. Absolutely. Very uncharacteristic for LSU on vault, considering that is one of their best events. But the meet is not over. There's still time to make up. So we'll see what they can do on the other three events to get that going. We look around this building. There's not a seat to be had. And the popularity of LSU gymnastics has certainly spilled over into a larger television audience. You see all of the meets that will be nationally televised on the SEC ESP ESPN network. And we get down to the back half of the season and you see the ESPN2 coverage. Certainly national coverage available to LSU one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times this season prior to regional play. You see in two weeks, the next home meet uh, against Florida, that is going to be a huge matchup. Certainly LSU will hope to get those difficulties on vault fixed before that night. It's gonna be an incredible meet, but a, a really great season overall for LSU and some great meets to be televised. The explosion of the popularity across the SEC and of course Georgia for a long time has had wonderful crowds. So has Alabama, so has Florida. LSU joined that group uh, early in the 2000s and now LSU leads the SEC in attendance and uh, this meet tonight will probably approach 12,000. Uh, in attendance, but the explosion has been a blossoming, a beautiful blossoming of a huge gymnastics flower across the SEC and to a larger audience. Absolutely. I mean, when I was a gymnast, we had our freshman and sophomore years, we used to do gymnastics 101 in the field pass, and now it's moved into the PMAC. It's created a larger buzz from the start of December through the end of season. Everyone's excited about LSU gymnastics, and it's just a great event for families, and it's, it's fun to watch. Well, well, here's the California vault lineup, and we'll see if LSU can make up some ground on bars. After hitting the deck a couple of times in yeah. landings, very uncharacteristically for LSU on vault. And for California on vault, this was one of their best events last year. They were ranked eighth in the country. They have three vaulters, just like LSU with 10-0 start values. All of them are freshmen, so once again, that goes back to the strength of that freshman class and what they are bringing this team. For LSU over on bars, they finished the season with the highest RQS. They have a national champion, Sarah Finnegan, who brought home LSU's first ever national title on bars. So they definitely have the athletes that can really pick it up here and, and help uh, build on those lower scores for the first rotation. And of course, bars, Lori, for the first time last year, LSU finished number one in the country on, on that event. Uh, a testament certainly to Jake Clark's coaching. Good start there by George. It's a very nice Yurchenko full. Lots of high fives from her teammates. Sophomore who contributed so much last year as an all arounder She competed in 14 meets. Hitting 51 out of 56 of her routines. Once again, a big hit here for her team to lead off with that Yurchenko full. This is Sammy Durante leading it off for LSU, the sophomore out of Athens, Georgia. 
She was their leadoff in every meet last year. Very clean, high Jaeger. Hits the handstand, packs Salto down to the low bar. Her high last year was a 9.925. It's a great bar worker, beautiful lines, beautiful handstands. She's very consistent. And that's what Jay Clark loves as his first person up. But stalled out a little bit on that full out dismount, but she managed to pull it around and get the landing. Very few deductions throughout that routine. The precision and the attention to detail was exceptional. Look at her toe point and the extension, the length that she gets through her giants, sets the dismount up really high, and that's what stalled her rotation just a little bit, so only a tiny hop on the landing, but very well done. Sophie Seil knocked, coming up now for California. It's another Yurchenko layout full. Very nicely done, very well executed. Could have had a little bit more block and you could have stuck the landing a little bit better, but overall, very nice. She's been a mainstay for Cal on this event. Nice extension, keeping that straight hip line almost entirely through the vault. Next up for LSU is Bridget Dean. Dean is a second year gymnast from Fort Myers, Florida. George scored a 9.8 on the California Vault. She was an alternate in several meets on bars, but never really broke the lineup last season. She's a former elite level 10 gymnast. She's worked hard to get into this lineup this year. And she's a great all around competitor. She has the opportunity to compete in any of the lineups that LSU can put her in. And she is following a 9.85 on bars by Sammy Durante. Nice bail to handstand. Goes up to the high bar for the dismount. A little bit short on that last handstand. And then a nice double layout with a stuck landing. Very nice. Well, the pom-poms are waving in the crowd. They are responsive to that ball, to that uh, bar routine. You saw Dee Dee immediately after the routine giving some feedback. Good job on her overshoot, gaining some speed into her dismount, slight separation and knee bend in the air. She almost got stalled a little bit. It's a nice tight half ball, and that will start from a 10 -0. You don't see um, many vaults different from a Yurchenko vault, so it's nice to see a different vault being competed. Talitha Jones completing her vault. LSU will have 11 gymnasts compete tonight, and two of those will be an all-around competition. That'll be Edney and Finnegan. So that vault was actually one of the most popular vaults for the best vaulters in the country back in my day. But since they moved to this new vaulting table instead of the old style horse, you see a lot more of the Yurchenko style vault. So it's nice to see a few more of those style handspring front pike vaults. Training in your tanko on the old style table was very, very scary, I remember. Ruby Harold a year ago averaged 9.916, a very high score across the course of the season. She's an All-American on this event, has a career high of a 9.95, and she's also got a very interesting routine. Very well known in college as well as internationally before she came Ruby to school Junior for that from, skill right there. She's from Bristol, ahead, England. Lori. What's the skill called? Oh, gosh. <laughs> a jumble of letters. Yes. You don't want to hear me say it. <laughs> a and nice hop to a double front landing. Very, very nice. That was a beautiful routine from Ruby Harold. A Schluterin, <laughs> maybe? Yeah. Okay. Sounded about right. Off to handstand, right into the dismount. No giant swing to gain speed. Blind landing. All right. That was a beautiful Yurchenko full and a half. Very well executed. Beautiful form and pretty nice landing. Milan Flossy, the freshman. See it again right here. 
One of those powerful freshmen coming in, stepping in really early in the season to put up big vaults like that. You saw her at the very end. She almost saw the landing at the Yurchenko full point, spotted the landing as much as she could before the feet hit. That is a blind landing, but she did the best that she could to really spot it. Kennedy Edney a year ago averaged 9.873 on bars. And she will follow Ruby Harrell's 9.925. Kennedy just has huge gymnastics. Everything she does is big, it's powerful, it's beautiful to watch. And in just her two years with LSU, she has created quite the resume for herself. Very athletic with cat-like reflexes. You see that Hindorf almost went straight up, but she knew exactly where she needed to catch the ball. Nice job on the overshoot to handstand. And sets it up for the dismount. LSU looking to build on a big score. A 9-9-2-5 from Ruby Harrell. This will be right up there as well. You know, Kaylee, we've got a colleague who knows a little something about this apparatus. Lori Strong Ballard in college actually had a, ba a bars maneuver named after her. Yeah, actually, I competed something called the Strong. It was named after me. It was a shoot over with a one and a half. And you hear me often mention names like that. Hindorf, if you do a skill at a Worlds or an Olympic Games and it's an original skill, it can be named after you. Tony Ann Williams competing on. The California Vault. That was a beautiful Yurchenko full. She flared out at the end, saw the landing, and stuck it. It was very, very beautiful. Fifth year senior. We mentioned her having to sit out a year because of an Achilles tendon tear. Coming back, she brings so much experience and leadership to this team. She is the returning All-America for California. Here's Kennedy Edney, the junior from Chino, California. Edney, 9.9. .9. And Lexi Priestman from Cincinnati, Ohio. She's a 2017 SEC's bar champion. Very consistent on this event. It's a beautiful bar worker. We will cover up there. Meant to do a pirouette with a half turn. She makes it a full turn. That just shows you the type of talent that she is, that she can cover up a skill like that. Small deduction for form. Beautiful double layout. What part of the body do the bars stress the most? What takes the most pressure in one of these routines? Definitely the arms and your forearms for grip strength. By the end of that bar routine, you are toast. Also, I think the sh shoulders take a yes. lot of strain, and unfortunately for Lexi, she has dealt a lot with that, has had, ha had to have several shoulder surgeries. We didn't see her at Gymnastics 101 because of some shoulder tightness, so it does put a lot of strain. <laughs> Another nice Yurchenko layout full, small hop on the landing, but again, beautiful form, very nice and consistent over with Cal. And the preceding vaulter, Tony Ann Williams, scored 9.8. This is Rachel Mastrangelo. And that concludes the vault for California. First up for Lexi Priestman with 9.775. 9.775 for Lexi Priestman. And now here's Sarah Finnegan. Look at that average vault score or bar score from a year ago, 9.915. She finished the year with the highest RQS the year before that. She was national bar champion. She's got the look. Huge ray. Beautiful toe point. Toe hand to an overshoot down to the lower bar. Toe shoot back up to the high bar. So by connecting all of those skills, she's gaining bonus points. Just the dismount. That was beautiful. I don't know what more you could have asked for for your anchor on bars. 
Coach Jake Clark calls her the Michael Jordan of this team. She just gets it done every single time. The flexibility that she has really is accentuated in that ray. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful extension into the dismount. She sees the landing and nails it feet glued together. We'll review all of the scores on bars and vault as we come back. We are midway through this meet here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on the SEC ESPN Network, the Cal Bears and the LSU Tigers.